Hello and welcome back. Today I'll be going over how to sort a list from highest to lowest in MIT App Inventor, and this will be shown with a high score list. First, let's see this work. As you can see in the video, whenever we provide a number, it sorts it from highest to lowest in the high score list and puts the number where it belongs. Today you will learn how to make the code necessary to be able to do something like this. Now, before we get into the code, let's think about how we'd want this to work first. When we have a score, we want to compare it to the already existing high scores, being our first, second, and third places, or however many you want to have. We should compare our score to the first three items in the high score list, and if it's higher than any of the scores, then we place the score above the number that it's higher than. Now that we understand the basics, let's make the code. We want to check the score that we get with the top three scores, so let's run this code three times, in which we're going to be using a for each loop. Since we want to check if the score is higher, we can compare the value of our score and the score at the first index using an inequality. The reason we use number as the index of the high score list when we're selecting the values is due to how the variable is associated with the for each loop. If our score isn't higher than the high score list value, then the for each loop will step up by 1, changing the value of the variable number to 2. This means that the list would then check the second index, and then the third if needed, which is exactly what we want it to do. Now, if the score is higher than the number at the chosen index, we don't want to replace it. We want to push the other scores down, so we should use the insert item into list block. You might see a slight issue here. With our given code, if, let's say a number is greater than the highest score in the list, that means it's going to be greater than every single score in the list, meaning that every single score would be replaced by that number. In order to fix this, let's add a sort of checking system. We can add a simple variable called check and we can set its value to 1. Now each time our variable check is under the value of 2, we carry out the code as normal. But when a given score is higher at a certain point, we should first insert the score at the index, but then we should set our value of the variable check to 3, or any number that is greater than 2. We know that 3 is not smaller than 2, so our code will stop checking the scores against the remainder of the list, and it'll move on to the high score page. Doing this helps to stop every single score from changing into the highest score. Now, since our list is organized, we can easily find the top three values. We can simply take the item in the first, second, and third index of our high score list, and we can get our first place, second place, and third place values. Thank you for watching. You now know how to sort a list from highest to lowest. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.